Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs. I'm really excited today to show you this gorgeous Nico wig from Rene of Paris in another colour. So I've already reviewed this wig in this colour ginger brown that I'm wearing right now in the last video and not long ago I reviewed this wig as well in the gorgeous Melted Marshmallow which is a really pretty kind of rooted stunning bright blonde. But I'm really excited today to bring it to you in Plumbery Jam. Now I've reviewed Plumbery Jam in one other wig and that's the Lennox wig. A gorgeous long middle parted wig. But this is really amazing to get this in this style in this colour. So let's bring her in. And I've ordered this wig like all of these wigs I've got at the moment from Valentine's Wigs in the UK. And whenever I order a wig from Valentine's Wigs, when the order comes, you get a little thank you chocolate. So I just wanted to show that to you as well. Isn't that a nice touch there? And it's got the picture of the team on there. So it shows that they are reputable and they look after you and they care. So if you're in the UK and you want to know where to get your wigs from, I can really recommend Valentine's Wigs. But this today it's all about Nico. So Nico in Plumbery Jam. Now, you know, this colour is something else. You know, if you've watched my other video on the gorgeous Lennox wig in this colour, this colour's stunning. It's just so different. And I love it because it's got this gorgeous kind of darker root. And then this gorgeous, and it's not even one colour. It's like many colours of this plum. You know, it's got really nice kind of electric purple bits running through it as well. And it's got electric vibe. You know, when I look at this wig, it's electric to me. You know, the colour's gorgeous. And to get it in Nico, I mean, you know, you've got to be brave to pull this wig off. You know, because it takes balls to go out in a wig with a blunt cut like this in this type of colour. But if, you're, if this is up your alley and you like this, you're going to love this one. And I love the Nico wick. I love the bluntness of it. You know, I love how the bang is. You know, I really like it. It's right up my alley. So if you like this too, you're going to love this colour too for something different and a change. So inside the cap before I put her on, and if you like the ginger brown, you know, I've done a previous video on this colour. You've got the cap here, which even though there's a little bit of, you know, volume to the cap itself, it's still, you know, flat on the head, in my opinion. So you can feel the machine teasing there. So you can boost it up if you want to, but it's nice and flat and sleek, which I love. And it's comfortable to wear. This is an average size cap. It's very comfortable. The hair feels very realistic. You know, it's perfect for a synthetic wig. And you've got all the breathable wefting at the back of the wig. So it makes it very light. You know, you can hold it with one hand. It feels light on your head. It feels lovely. There's lots of movement with this wig as well. And you've got the bra strap type adjusters. So you can make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own head. So I'm just going to make them a tiny bit tighter because they are really sticking out at the end there. So love it. And, you know, if you look at the gorgeous colour, you know, even on the back of the wig, you can see how bright it is. It's really nice. This colour, to me, is something you'd get from, like, the Fever wig collection or, you know, and to get this in a high-end wig like Nico, I just feel really blessed that I've been able to get it in this one. So, and I know that, you know, these sell out very quickly as well. So let's get Nico on and see what she looks like. So before I put her on, I'm just going to show you the comparison with the ginger brown. You know, if you wanted something a bit more realistic looking, you know, a bit more like your own hair, then this is a great colour. It's really pretty. But if you want something a bit stylish and different, let's try her in Plumbery Jam. So I'm just going to unclip her. So I've clip, uh, sewn wig clips into this wig and I've sewn wig clips into this one too. You know, you don't have to do that, but I have just to give it that added security. I can't wait to get this on. So the band does come a little bit longer on this. Not much. I've got quite a short forehead and I'm finding that with the Rene of Paris bangs, I just need to take a tiny bit off. But I'll show you that when I put it on. 
So I'm going to get my thumbs at the back where the label is. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there and I'm going to put my head into it, tuck my hair in and then align the ear taps. So let's get this wig on. Look at this colour. Oh, wow. Love it. So first I'm going to just part it like this so I can see where I need to lift it up to. So, you know, whenever you put a wig on with a bang, make sure you move the bang out of the way to get it into the right position before you put it on. And then you clip it in. Obviously, it doesn't come with these tabs, but, you know, you, with these clips, but you can uh, sew them in, which I have. And then I'm going to, you know, it just doesn't take much at all. You know, I haven't had to brush her, comb her, use my finger. She's just ready to go. Isn't it pretty? And as I said with the bang, it come a tiny bit longer. And I don't like it when they're going in my eyes. I can't stand that. So all I do is just kind of get the bang and put it into a triangle and then cut it across where I want it. And for some reason, it seems to work for me. That's the way I'm doing it. I know there's many people out there that show you how to cut bangs like this and doing that, you know. But for me, I just do it my own way and it seems to work. And I like it that way. So, you know, you can just use your comb to sort out the bang and get the bang how you want it. Because obviously you haven't got to wear the bang like this, you know, you can easily sweep it over. It still looks really natural and pretty like that. But, you know, I do prefer a full bang. And, you know, your bang, when you have your own natural bang, if you add, you know, your, a bang on your own hair, it's not going to stay flat all the time. It's going to move around. It's going to move side to side with the wind. So the wig, you know, will do the same thing. So don't be worried about cutting it wrong or just have a go and do your best. That's all you can do. And most of the time you'll do a good job. So it just is trial and error. But this is such a great wig. I love this colour. And, you know, Nico is definitely one of my favourite bob wigs. Out of all the bob wigs I've got and I've tried, Nico is one of my favourites because it feels so natural. The cap's nice to wear. And I love the sleekness of the cut, you know, the way it's sleek. So if I show you in the mirror, first of all, I mean, look at that gorgeous colour, Plumbury Jam. Love it, love it, love it. Amazing. Want more and more wigs in this colour because it's just something different. It stands out. It's vibrant. It's great. So it's great for a night out or something a bit different as well. So from the side, from the back, I love the movement on Nico and this side look how gorgeous she is and you know as i said i haven't needed to do much to this at all i haven't had to get my comb on it and get it into the style the bang comes this way so you know the thing is with your bang if you cut your bang it stays flat which i love i'm finding with all of the rene of paris wigs they do that some of the other wigs like the godiva secret wigs or the noriko wigs you cut the bang and it flips up and you have to you know, manipulate it down in your own way, you know, maybe using um, some kind of appliance or heat from your hands or wetting it and waiting for it to dry. But with these Rene of Paris styles, they just are what they are. And I love that. So this is why right now Rene of Paris is my favourite, favourite wig company. I love them. Or favourite wig brand, should I say. You know, not wig company. I suppose they are a company, but you know what I mean. You know, I don't know everything about wigs because I'm just a daily wig wearer. You know, I'm not a wig expert, I'm a wig wearer. And that's why I wanted to start this channel because, you know, I'm just a normal person wearing wigs and I just want to share my experiences. And, you know, if you get some joy out of it and some help with the wigs as well, then I've done the right thing. And I just love sharing my passion of wigs with you. So I love this one. So I'm not going to be wearing this one all the time. You know, I love the Melted Marshmallow and Nico. It's my favourite one. And, you know, in my last video where I did the Ginger Brown, I said I'm going to get there in a spare because if they stop making it a Melted Marshmallow, I would just be devastated because, you know, I can see me wearing this style, Nico and Melted Marshmallow, for a long, long time. And, you know, you it's always good to get a spare of a wig that you really like or a colour that you really like it in. And that's what I intend to do. But I really do love Nico. There's some other amazing colours it comes in. They do it in a pastel pink. But that's not a rooted pink. Otherwise, I would get that one. They do it in um, a rainbow. They do it in a blue, like a, a pastel blue. 
and they do it in lovely blondes as well so really great wig you know i just love the movements as i said i love the sleekness of it you know and this color plumbery jam is, jam is stunning and you know the fact that it's got the roots on top i just feel it's much nicer than if it was a block color because if it was all this color everywhere it would be too much you know with having that root there it just give, makes it something special and if you check out my review on Lennox and Plumbry Jam, you'll see that on Lennox, the longer one, there's more routine and, you know, then it goes into this colour. So again, it depends on whether it's a short or a longer wig, you know, how they do the routine. But I think on Nico, they've got it just right. Let me know what you think in the comments. So Nico and Plumbry Jam from Rene of Paris. Have a great day, sending you so much love. And remember, if you order it from Valentine's Wigs, you get a little chocolate. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.